Hi everyone and welcome to a showdown special here on the channel. So I'm away on holiday at the minute, but I did want to put some content up while I was away and uh, this is a team that I've been playing around with uh, recently, just getting back into the Ultra series a bit more seriously, so I thought it might be nice just to do some showdown stuff um, while I'm away before we come back and do some serious, get our normal battle series underway. So this is the team you can see, it is all based around Choice Band Rayquaza. I think it's pretty nice, um, I'm not really sure about the Waterfall, maybe Earthquake there would be quite nice, but it doesn't really have that much synergy with the rest of the team, so sticking with the, the Waterfall at the minute just to get rid of Groudon and things like that that can be pretty problematic for the rest of the team then Serena is the other partner in crime with that Queenly Majesty ability just amazing help in hand as the spreads and stuff there'll be a roll pace down in the description below if you want to try it out scissors something else I'd like to try out with a sash there standard Xerneas uh, assault vest incineral and then we got the Z move on Tapa de Coco so that's the team that we're going to be playing around with today and we'll just hop straight in uh, this is a new user uh, tag that I've got that I'm running so our, our ladder ranking is going to be pretty low but uh, we'll get into it and we'll just see how many games we can get through and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun so what we got in Cinero Aerodactyl Machamp uh, X-Ray as well madness okay um, obviously the Thunderous Therian is going to be a bit of an issue uh, I feel like we can probably get away with going for uh, the Xerneas boosting here though uh, we'll lead Incineroar, Xerneas, Serena, and what else do we need? Uh, Ray. Yeah, let's just bring Ray. Let's do that. Don't feel like there's anything else that we need to do. Um, and we'll just see. Like, Lot Ladder is always going to be a bit easier than, than it will be when we get a bit higher, but hopefully it doesn't take too long to get a bit higher on the ladder and we can start getting some proper competitive competitive teams. Because um, Machamp is definitely something that I haven't seen really run this yet. It's interesting Pokemon, of course, and especially in the Tailwind, which you, you're probably guessing this team's going to go for with the Aerodactyl here. Uh, Xerneas Incineroar for my opponent, that's fine. Um, I guess the only thing we need to worry about is potentially Raw on the uh, the old Incineroar on the other end, but I think I'll probably try Fake out this turn. Uh, there we go, yeah, Geo Geo. We'll just trade Geos, but the thing is I don't mind this because we've got Help in Hand um, boosted. Xerneas here, where we can really take advantage of uh, Helping Hand. Yeah, so we can start doing some nice damage here and just cut through this team. And hopefully, this is kind of like the main idea with this team. You know, you get yourself set up in Xerneas against against favourable matchups. Some matchups you can't bring Xerneas, obviously, to lead with. But uh, you cut through, and then Banded Ray kind of in the end comes back. I'm going to say we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> See a roll maybe there, but unfortunately can't survive the helping hand dazzle. Um, so Machamp coming in, interesting. Uh, we'll just go for the helping hand dazzle once again. Um, unless we see Wide Guard, which could be a problem. Uh, I do suspect maybe Wide Guard here from the Machamp, potentially. So let's go helping hand Moonblast. There it is. We called it. Uh, we get some nice damage there. Moonblast, Moonblast. Um, and we'll go Dazzle, we'll go Faint this time. Because uh, we could have went for that last time, it's just nice getting that big damage onto the opposing Xerneas. Obviously that's the, the big thing here. With the faster Xerneas as well, so if Wide God goes up again, oh, I don't know if it will. And uh, even if not, the Machamp could be Sashed, I guess. It's the sort of Pokemon you think would be Sashed in this sort of format. With Salamence, Rayquaza and Fairies and Psychic types all floating around, giving Machamp a really hard time. So, we'll see what my opponent hopefully hurries up. And uh, we can get this first one underway. There's a. There's a uh, we went for the wrong. the wrong feint. <laughs> uh, but never mind, we get the match amp anyway. I was trying to go for something. Maybe suspecting that we would go for uh, the Moonblast again to the Xerneas. But uh, we can just wrap things up now with a nice feint and dazzle. And you can see kind of how powerful this combination is. It's something that I've loved all season and do really like a lot. And it's probably something I will take to tournaments in the future. I think it does need refining, but um, I think the combination between the two is, is still very strong. Electroweb, nice, nice, nice. We still add speed though. And uh, we can just go for that feint. Dazzle again. That's a bulky Thunderous as well, isn't it? Um, more of a support variant. Interesting. Interesting variant. Um, but they should wrap it up now. 
And uh, there we go. Very good game to my opponent. And uh, we'll get straight into this next one. I need to really get a nice background for my showdown. I'm kind of stuck with the generic ones at the minute. It'd be nice to get some some nice backgrounds. If any of you guys know any nice backgrounds that I can use, then just throw me a line, drop me a comment below, and uh, or if you've got any that I can use, that'll be even better. So we've got uh, Duskman, Lunala, uh, Medichamp, Volcarona. It's going to be a bit of an issue, especially if we are bringing um, Xerneas going for that side of things. Uh, I might go Ray here. It's not intimidating on my opponent's side of the field, so Ray can be good with Serena. Uh, we can really show that off. Um, we definitely need Incineroar, I think. And do we want Xerneas here or Tapu Koko? I feel like Koko could be better, really, in this in this matchup. So we're going to see Volcarona and Tapu Fini. Uh, we'll go Mega Evolve. I'm not really worried about the Volcarona here. We want to just get rid of this Tapu Fini here. We'll go for a helping hand. Dragon Ascent, just to make sure that we get rid of the, even the bulk the bulkiest of finnies although the finny could have protect you saw it was quite it was a bit of a trend in uh, at worlds and it makes a lot of sense it gives you a bit of room to kind of maneuver around the field a bit more and preserve the support option there in finny but just having the ability to remove finny so easily is that's one of the the big appeals i think with the band it really is super nice here yeah. uh we'll go for a faint dragon ascent into this volcarona we could end up burning ourselves. Pretty sure Faint is a contact move. Pretty sure. So we could end up burning ourselves twice here. Uh, or we could lose Ray to um, uh, Alternate Crosma. Oh, we do survive though. It's so weak. So weak. And we get rid of the uh, Volcarona. And Ray not burnt, which is excellent. And uh, we're sitting in a nice position now. We switch in the Serena. We go for the Twinkle Tackle, Twinkle tackle into the uh, Alternate Crosma and then the Medicamp will probably Mega Evolve go for a fake out, but it's not gonna work. Um oh, it's not even gonna go for it. We'll just get rid of this Alternate Crosma and um yeah, poor little Medicamp going for the poison jab. Paves the way for uh, Ray to come back in and we can just faint Dragon Ascent and uh, there we go. Very good game to my opponent. I should do this every time, shouldn't I? But uh, I'm uh, I'm kind of just I'm really impatient when I play Showdown. I just want to get through games and test teams and things like that. It's such a it's one of those things where like if I'm on Battle Spot, it's a lot more relaxed. But here I feel really fidgety and I just want to just constantly just click 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 away. <laughs> and I hope I'm not being too annoying with this commentary as well. So we got um okay Groudon Dawn Wings. Um, support. I like Suicune, you know. Suicune's a Pokemon I don't think we see enough in this format. Suicune, Gastrodon, uh, uh, Salamence, Tapu Koko. Uh, Tapu Koko is decent here. We've got to watch out for that Gastrodon, of course, but Tapu Koko is not bad. Um, I'm going to go Koko. I'm going to go Ray. Koko Ray. I'll do what I do. I go Koko Ray. There we go. Serena Ray might be nice. Just don't worry about the opposing type of Coco, that's the other thing. Um, hmm, so indecisive. Let's see. Let's go Coco for sure. Um, let's go Incineroar actually, just for the intimidate support. It's quite nice then, having Fake Out as well, just to support us, because my opponent's not really got any Fake Out there. Um. Xerneas is going to be good, and I think we'll bring Ray as well in the back. Uh, okay, so Suicune. Mm. Is my opponent going to go? I'm going to go. I very rarely see Protect on Suicune, so I'm going to go Volt Switch into that slot. And I'm just going to go for Snarl as well. Okay, so we get some nice damage on. Preserve Coco for later in the game. We'll bring in Xerneas. Ooh, Calm Mind. Nice. Okay. Don't mind that. Mirror Court. Huh. And it fails. Um, I don't really want to go for the Geomancy here because the Suicune's definitely got roll. Like 100%. Let's just click Dazzle and let's go for another Snarl. Could see a Tailwind here, I guess, you know. Yeah. So we could have went for the Geo. Um... But it's still still fine. Um, I think we just go for it again. The same again. 
I'm not really worried about Xerneas in this matchup. It's not really the like the, the key part to this matchup. Um, I think Ray is more important in as well, like alongside the Ray, obviously. Uh, Tapu Koko first. We're gonna see the Z move. Um, wow. Neutral gets us. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, obviously, the Tailwind's still up. We can bring in Ray though now. Um, we're probably going to have to lose Incineroar, but we can go for that Waterfall into the Groudon, and we'll try a Snarl as well. Come on, can we get the Groudon? This would be magical. Oh, Groudon, why are you doing this to us? And get that Snarl into the Suicune. And we're going to see the Groudon switch out for sure now. So we'll switch into Tepa Coco and we'll go for U-turn into the uh, Groudon slot, I think, yeah. Um, there's a Tailwind to Pitter out now. I can pivot back in with... Uh, oh, we're not going to actually see that. This is bad for us. Okay. Coco hanging on by the skin of its teeth. Um, but I guess at the same time, it's good that we did pivot out there so we're not locked in um you might want to switch into incinero with coco and go for dragon ascent into gastrodon i don't know if a banded dragon ascent will get gastrodon to be honest yep it does okay that's excellent press this yeah Incin takes it like a boss, actually. I like the Assault Vest variant as well. I think with the amount of um, Earth Power Pokemon that you've got kicking around at the minute, it does make a bit more sense. We'll go for a Snarl and uh, Dragon Ascent into the Suicune. We can pretty much clean up from here, I feel. Um, Dragon Ascent should be enough to kind of clear everything out. Like, the Dawn Wings will come in. We'll be able to get this with the Band as well. Um... We'll go for a Snarl, Dragon Ascent. We're going to be, like, so weak, though. <laughs> like, uh, the Groudon can still do some decent damage to us because of all the drops we've had. Hopefully, Ray can just take it. Oh, okay, we're just going to see Precipice Blades. So that's fine. And then Coco coming in. Uh, Twinkle Tackle, Dragon Ascent. It should be enough. And um, we can hopefully pick up another win here. It still does decent damage, that doesn't it? Like, it really does. Uh, it surprises me how much Twinkle Tackle does. Okay, there we go. Good game to my opponent. Did it again! It didn't say good game, but never mind. Uh, they know in their heart what I really meant. Um, we've got Kyogre and Lunala up next. So we've got... Ooh, right, Trick Room, Tailwind. Uh, what's our best option going to be here? Um... I'm kind of scared about the the stack attacker more than anything here, to be honest. Do I want to? <sighs> mm. Like Ray is really important. I need to try and be able. Like Coco is quite good here uh, at preventing the tailwind. At least it's the trick room element that I'm a little bit more wary about. Um, we could go Ray, I guess. We're probably going to see Incineroar come out. Serena's always kind of good in these matchups as well, just where there's fake out, and it's not bad against uh, Stacker, and it does a decent job against Kyogre, so there's there's that, um, and it's what we want to bring in the last place, probably Xerneas, yeah, there's the stacks, uh, okay, um, now what do we go for, what do we get? this is where Earthquake would be good on Ray, to be honest, um, So we could just Volt Switch out on the Stack Attacker and Waterfall it. Although I don't think that's going to be enough to get it, if I'm completely honest. We could Volt Switch out on the Lunala and Crunch it. But then it's so obvious that it probably protects, but we'll try it. Like, Lunala's going to be a bit more of a pain for us to deal with than the Stack Attacker, I feel. Or maybe not. Let's see. There's a Volt Switch. Okay, we're going to be able to get rid of the Lunala. Um, we'll pivot in Serena. This is where Incineroar would have really been probably better than Xerneas in the back because there's a the Trick Room. And now Kyogre coming in. Um, but I mean, this is the nice thing about Serena and running a slow one. We've got that nice power whip. We can just launch onto that slot. Um, 
do we keep Ray in or do we just take Ray out? Uh, let's bring Coco in. Because the Power Whip should get the Kyogre. I should get pretty close to it. Unless we see. Okay, we're going to see Incineroar come in. That's fine. Um, rock Slide. Get a tiny bit of damage onto this Incineroar. Now, it can't fake us out, but we can go for. Um, hmm. We just need to get through these Trick Room turns and get some damage onto this Stack Attacker, to be honest. Uh, I feel like we're not going to get an attack off with Coco here, so I might just protect. Go for Power Whip. So you see, Flare Blitz from. Oh, it's got you turn. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think this one might be a bit too far gone for us now because we lose. Okay, well, I mean, we get rain, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm not really worried about the Kyogre, it's just I don't want to leave it unchecked, that's the that's the only thing. Um, I just want to get rid of the Stack Attacker. Um, is the Kyogre going to... I think Kyogre, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that and then... Um, Gonna have to bring in Xerneas, I think, in this situation. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, that works out better for us, so we go for the stack attacker. That's fine. Yeah, as long as we don't flinch. No flinch, which is good, but oh, we're still so far away from actually really being able to get it. Um, okay, we'll bring in, hmm, because Ray's going to get faked out, I would imagine. I think fake out Rock Slide as well, what you kind of go for, probably. Um, we'll bring in Coco, we'll protect Xerneas. The problem is, like, the next turn, if we've still got Coco around, we're not really putting pr enough pressure on that stack attack. I mean, we've got the rock slide, but <sighs> okay, that's that's all right actually, because we can. Uh, the terrain going is not super helpful for us. Um, I don't know if a thunderbolt and a moonblast will get stacker. We've got to try though. Nah. Oh, it does! Excellent. <laughs> okay, we're back in this. Um, and with Ray in the back, we should be all right. I think we just need to get some damage onto uh, the Kyogre. So we'll just go Thunderbolt and protect Xerneas. I imagine the Kyogre might protect here, but then again, when we get Ray onto the field, we can just dazzle Dragon Ascent, the Kyogre, if it does protect this turn, and we should be able to win. So. Um, stack attacker proving a little bit of an issue for this this build as you would imagine it would anyway um, it may be worth thinking about possibly putting something like ooh, we get the paralysis as well water spout coming out we'll get the core core um, and there's a u-turn but I guess it now Ray's in a, such a good position to just get rid of the Kyogre and we can just go dazzle um, yeah, it might be worth putting like high jump kick on Serena, just so we've got an option to hit the the stack attacker outside of everything else. The other option is obviously going for low kick on Iron Cineral, but I always feel like that's quite whiffy. Like you're never doing as much damage as you want to be doing on it. Um, I'll just leave the Incineral and we'll get the Dragon Ascent. So that's excellent. I think what we'll do, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed today. We'll be back. We'll be back very soon. Um, just showing the team off getting used to it today. Um, we've had some good battles with it. As I say, the team is down in the description below. We'll leave it here and uh, we'll come back for another episode and see how far we can push this team. It'd be nice to see how far we could get up the ladder, see how high we can get up there with this team. We'll make tweaks along the way and I think if we do, we'll discuss them. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you for the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.